Good morning, good morning. Hello, happy Thursday. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Uh, let's see. Last night we had the uh, the Rust meetup, which was really awesome. We had uh, uh, Sam Scott from uh, Sam OS, no, Oso HQ, which is a really interesting sort of like authentication uh, platform that you can use. Um, they wrote a language in Rust. They wrote some other tools in Rust. Um, it's it's actually really interesting. If you if you have a chance, um, you can watch the VOD, which is uh, in you know on Twitch, obviously. Uh, and then later today slash tomorrow, I'm gonna put that up on YouTube, in, in the case you want to see it there. But yeah, that was that was actually really really sort of like a cool talk. Today, however is uh, it's going to be more of our ECS library. Um, right, what we were doing, we were working on getting rid of all of these errors. So for the most part, we can just ignore the sidebar and just come down here and just take a look. All right, yeah, we have to figure out what what's going on. Uh, void range, you're an F32, you're just borrowed, so you're an F32. And then go like that, and you're good to go. Oh, we also need to pull in world methods. Um, okay, so locations, query one. Uh, did we get a query? I think we did, so come down like that. Okay, that gives us an RC ref cell. So we, we learned that we just can't get away from, from that. We have to do, we have to still have like a wrapped locations essentially um accelerations uh we're creating one generative view um we borrow mute okay that's fine turning speed right so you're gonna be just an f32 Okay, that should make you happier. Um, right, okay, so in we have these locations after we clone it, after we borrow it, that's when we have to cast it. Um, in order to cast it properly for this location, we also have to give it the typings. So we know that this is gonna be a, actually, I think that can be in any type. This one is a uh, point. And then we'll see here. Oh, okay. You're not you're not there yet. Um, I guess you need to be a U size here. Oh, you don't know yet. Okay. So then we don't need to cast at all at this point. Um, okay, so locations, clone, borrow. We have to do the exact same thing for this. After we borrow it, then we can uh, cast. Then we can iterate okay, for each. Okay, you're a reference. That's what it was. That's what I'm missing. The reference in here. Okay, so for this for each, we have to do the exact same thing. Um, I'm actually interested. Can I do that as an underscore and then a reference to a point? Yes, I can. That works. Um, that being said, I'm, I'm perfectly fine explicitly stating what the type, the type is. Um, okay, that means we don't not need to cast in here anymore. It's already been cast once across them all. Um, it's less than a void range. Okay, we need to structure or dereference, sorry. Uh, we don't need to cast point mute. Okay, so let acceleration. Uh, 
That's the problem. Okay, so we, we borrow mute, and then we do need to pass mute. Um, and then that means we need to tell this what it is, so it's a mutable reference to a vec of point. Turning speed is dereferenced. De um, and acceleration, we no longer need to dereference that. It is the point. All right, and that's it. This this file is fine then. Next one, draw birds. All right, no method named get resource. Um, right, so we have to pull in pull in the world methods. Um, we have to tell you that that, and then we have the type annotations. This is going to be a mesh that we're getting out, and I'm not actually convinced we have a mesh set up for that. So for the resource, we have a cast. Yeah, we don't have this for a mesh yet. Okay, so in cast, we have these. I, I think these are pretty much pretty, pretty standard. If let resource mesh mesh is equal to self then return the mesh otherwise uh for right now we're just panicking Okay, type annotations. Uh, annotations. Now, at this point in time, we need to say uh, we're just borrowing it, so this can be a reference to a mesh. Uh, we do need to bring that in. I don't think we need this borrow anymore. It's just, yeah, just the get resource. Okay, so same thing for the color. You need to be a type uh, reference to a color. Um, remove you. Remove this borrow. Oh, and I need to pull in color. All right, okay, so we take our color, wrap color, cast color, so we don't need to do that anymore. Um, this can just be the color here, and we've got it. Um, mesh equals borrowed mesh. Okay, so you could just be the mesh. All right, locations, world query one, we're going to... Right, so we do need to tell it uh, what it is. These are component names. It does care about that. And we need to remove these. All right, so, that, okay. Locations, iterate, um, enumerate. So what do we have? We have locations that are borrowed. We can Okay, we're trying to cast a point here. I think we can cast at this point in time here. So that, um, cast, which does mean we need to tell that, that this is a reference to a vec, a 
point. Uh, which means we need to pull that in. Okay, so we don't need to do this to get the location. We just have it as a point already. Uh, rotation. Um, let rotations equals... Okay, so we're going to grab this out. You're going to be a reference to a vec of... F-32s. So if we do that, then we don't need to do... We just need to grab it out of the index. Then we don't need the reference you anymore. Uh, all right. Then this file is done. Uh, we're down to 17 errors. Um, okay, handle arena edges. Okay, so we're gonna get resource. Um, what are you in the borrowed arena size? Getting the resource. You're an arena size. Oh, I think that's a point. Yeah, cast a point. So we're just going to make you an arena size. I'm going to say that you are a reference to a point. We're going to pull in the world methods, remove you, and no more borrow. And we don't need to do you anymore. OK, locations, world query one. Uh, I don't need to do the entire like locations within locations, so we can just set what you are, which is going to be a vector of point. So we'll create one, remove you, location, and then there is a borrow, but we can immediately cast like that. Velocities, uh, you're going to be the, exactly the same thing. We don't need you mutable. And we only need you once. So we're going to do a reference to a vec point equal to world query one, review, and then cast. All right, accelerations, you need to be mutable. So However, we only need it once, so we can do it right here. Mute um, of a vec a point. Review. Then we're going to cast mute. All right. OK, so we have you. Sight range. All right, so we need this as just an F32. Turning speed, uh, it's the same thing. Okay, so get resource, we need to add that. Remove you and remove you. Okay, locations, okay, so we're gonna iterate through the locations. We already know exactly what they are, so we're fine here, but we no longer need to cast that the location inside the loop. Uh, the velocity, we need to get the velocity out, but we don't need to cast it. And the acceleration is the same thing. Now that's a point. Um, I think what I need is like a mutable reference to the point. 
Um, okay, so we're going to force equals point default. Okay, so we're going to create a new point. This is going to be our force. We're going to do the entire thing. All right, so location, you need to be a dereferenced. Same for you. And same for you. All right, no errors or warnings in here. Excellent, we're down to nine errors. World wrapper, uh, right, you don't exist anymore. Uh, you are now just a reference to the world. So this is an update rotation. So in our update rotation system, the first thing we're doing is we're querying for these rotations. They're borrow mute. We're only doing a single loop. So I can just give the typings here. So immutable reference to a vec of F32. Uh, and then we can just cast mute. Uh, this goes away, and I think we're done with that. Epic Blarg, um, what's your current mission? Did you finish the window frame buffer resizing? Yes, I did. I did finish that. And so currently what I'm doing is I changed um, where we're storing the vectors for the, uh, the components. I, I moved them all into the enums as opposed to in... Uh, putting like an enum inside of the well I, I could just show you I can just show you um okay so right now we have in our entity data uh, we see that this is really just a hash map of an RC ref cell components if we go to components there'll be like a point with a vec of points um f32 with a vec of f32s so that's uh, actually helping us out a lot because now we only have to do like the cast once and not every single time inside of the loop. Um, the other big thing that we did is in resources, we uh, we made it so that our resource data doesn't have an RC and a ref cell. Uh, we just found that it wasn't actually, like we were never in a situation where we needed to have multiple, um, uh, multiple references uh, to the same thing. We didn't need like the power of the RC. We didn't need really need the power of the ref cell. Uh, for resources, they're a lot simpler. So we can just store it in a, a pure um, hash map. And we're also doing a little bit of trickery to get casting to work really nicely. So I don't have to um, do like cast point. I can just do cast. Uh, there is some typings and some weirdness going on there. But besides that, it's... I think it's pretty good. All right, where we were. Update locations. I thought we were on update rotations. Let's finish in, up in here. Okay, so in velocities, we do need to give this a type. So you're going to be a... Uh, we're only borrowing it, so it's just a reference to a vec of F32, uh, a point. Um, we're going to query one. We remove this, and then we're going to dot cast here. Oh, I need to pull in point. Okay, so we do rotations, we iterate through. We no longer need to do this shadowing to cast it. We just have the rotation. I should benchmark before or after and see how many burbs the two data layouts can handle. Oh, that would have been a good idea. I am in a branch, so we can we can totally do that. Um, there is a bigger like um, th there is a bigger sort of I don't, I don't know what um, what it would be like thing that I could do that would allow me to handle way more birds at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna cast there, but we were gonna stop casting there, so we have just the point. Uh, and then there we go. Um, 
we're good to go. All right, so down here. Right, there's no more world wrapper. We got rid of that, which means you're just a world now. I don't know if we need this dead code anymore. I'm gonna remove it just to see what what it yells at me about. Okay, let's do it. Query one. Um, okay, so we're querying. We're just borrowing uh, the locations. Are we doing anything with it? Like, so we can't. No, not really. We're just casting to array. Oh, this is the visualize. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Um, so we're going to do a, this is a reference to a vector of point. I need to pull in a point. Okay. So we're going to query one, remove you, borrow, and then we cast. All in one go like that. Do you mean space partitioning to lessen the amount of distance checks? Um, that could be one thing. I wasn't even thinking about that, although that would have pretty big uh, impact too. I was thinking instead of um, separate draw calls for the draw system, I could uh, create a single mesh every frame that is of all the birds, all the rotations, everything else, and then just draw it once. Um, GG Easy doesn't batch process all those draws it just sends them one at a time to the graphics card uh so that would that would actually help out a lot it'd probably be the biggest savings because it's the graphics card stuff everything else like the cpu is you know on this computer at least we wouldn't see the difference uh maybe on like um a raspberry pi we might see that All right, so we're going to cast F32, so sight range. We have to tell you that we want a reference to an F32. Um, we're going to get resource. We have to import the world methods, and we have to give it the resource names and remove this thing. And then that's it. That's, that's how we get the resource and cast it all at the same time. Um, avoidance range, you're also a resource. So you are a reference to an F32. I'm gonna add you. I'm curious, if I put underscore there and I tell it to just figure it out. Yeah, no, it won't. It won't, not, not terribly surprising. Okay, locations. Um, uh, locations, we don't need this cast point. We can just two array that. And that gives me this. Okay, site range mesh. Now for these things, I do need to dereference them at this point. That's the like cost. Oh, you I forgot to pull that out. Okay, avoidance range, you're dereferenced. And that's it. This file is done. Okay, I have I have warnings in here. Let's get rid of the warnings then. Uh in between each of these I have to save uh because the warnings uh you notice if I do this there's weird warnings. These ones we know you can get rid of, but like the warning lines might actually go to the wrong line if I, if I'm not careful. Okay, so we're not using uh, the variable name here. So this is in resource data. Um, that's because oh we haven't we haven't implemented this. So let's go ahead and implement you. So this is in just a resource data lens for points. We're gonna do a. Um, self dot resources dot get mute uh, name 
and we are unwrapping it right now so we can cast uh in the future it would probably be best for us to um see mute point expected mutable reference point found reference of like an unknown type Interesting. Let's try. Oh, because you're an unknown. Um, well, we're in this point, so let's try. We know you're a mutable reference to a point. If I do that. Okay, so why are you not working in the... Oh, cast mute. Cast mute. Ah, hold on. I didn't do this. I need to cast mute. I forgot. Cast mute. Like that. Then we'll be fine. There we go. Uh, no more errors in this file. Or warnings. All right. Um, entity. Okay, so inserting entity data for color. I I did switch to a uh, register system first. You have to register for it, which will uh, create like insert into the hash map and put in the um, like an uh, the enum with an empty vector inside of it makes it just a little bit easier for us like we don't have to do as much checks inside of here we can just go straight on in so we first need um we're, we're gonna need the uh the entity data so like the components and equal to self dot What am I in? I'm in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Components. Okay. Components uh, that get mute. Um, the name. Okay. So it gets us that. Oh, you haven't done the error handling yet. So that's going to be like the next pass is remove all these unwrapped and have everything return like results and options. Um, okay, so then I do okay, so we have the name that comes in here. Then we want to insert the data in for this specific one. Um, I wonder, do I need to tell it what data type it is or will you figure it out? Um, let's see. We have to extract out what that data is too. So, um, if let. Oh, okay. Wait, we need to borrow this. Borrow mute. Okay, that gives us. Wait, still an RC? The wrong borrow mute. Wrong bar on mute. Okay, that gives us a ref mute now. So now I can go into ref mute. So if let, um, let's see, what is it? Components, uh, color. How do I do it for this one? Borrow mute. Oh, we cast it. Oh, we cast it. I forgot. We also have to cast it. We've got cast mute. And then we know that you need to be a 
mutable uh, reference to a vec of color like that. Um, no code actions available. Uh, what's my problem? The tree pound color is not satisfied. Oh, because we probably don't have a cast mute for color uh, in components. So we need to fix that. So I need to go into Is it mod? Oh, because we don't even have a color at all. So inside of here, we're trying to insert. Um, yeah, OK, so we need, now we need to be able to handle color for this in entity data. Okay, so we need color, let's say vec of color. Um, so that means we need to now do this entire thing. Uh, we have these component types. This is just a color. Impol cast components for components. All right, so cast mute and cast are actually pretty much the same thing here. So if um, components color, color is equal to self, then return the color. Else. Uh, panic at the disco. Mismatch types, expected boolean found. Oh, if let. There we go. That'll be happy now. So now we can come back to here. We can cast mute. This is happy now. We know exactly what this is. Uh, it's going to be this color. I may not even need to do this type uh, typing um, because of the data, but I, I think I still need to. Um, then we're going to do uh, components dot push the data. And there we go. We've now pushed that in. All right. What are you upset about? Um, oh, okay. So we need to do a let binding in here somewhere. I, where, where do I need to? It's some, okay. So 55 borrow later used here. So 54. So at this point in time, I need to do a, uh, components. So maybe this can be like a, um, wrapped components equals that then let components is equal to that wrapped um mismatch types okay so i don't set your your type here oh and you already know what type it's going to be perfect because of the data being pushed in Excellent. Okay, so that's that's this. Up here we do have an error somewhere. Oh great. We have an error in maps. I'm not gonna worry about that one. Where where is this error? Um unfold all there it is okay so match component type 
missing arm pattern. Right, so every time we add a new type, we have to now fill this match arms and we have to figure out like, what are you? So in register, uh, we want to just add in a components color uh, with a vec with an empty vec. All right, no more errors in here. Uh, we don't need this hash. So many warnings. Um, right, that's because we're we need to do these. All right. Well, that's what that's what we're doing. We put it off until later, and now is later. Um, okay, so get resource mute. We, um, this is just the world methods for point. Uh, I wonder if I can do this. I wonder if it's gonna be easy for me to do like multi-line. Uh, let me try to remember how we're gonna get the resource for a mute. It's just gonna be this mute point. Yeah, this is in the world. Uh, we have the name here. So we're gonna just do a self dot um, resources dot get mute and then the name and I believe that's just oh uh, name dot into and oh that's it okay so that's that's pretty simple so now get resource so you're the next one um self dot resources dot get that one name dot into and that's it i mean this is pretty simple okay with component um all right so this is part of the the register slash insert so we're inserting with the component all we're going to be doing is saying um self dot entity data dot insert um the name dot into and then the data and that's it what am i missing here Oh, the treat bound. Let's see, for mesh is not satisfied. Oh, okay, right. So for entity data, it needs to handle with component like an insert for a mesh. So we need entity data. Yeah, we don't have one. Uh, we just need insert for here, so it should be relatively simple. Um, again, we can we can assume that we've already done a register. We're willing to crash if it doesn't, or at least you know, we might we might have to return an error. I don't know. Um, the reason why I don't want to set up those errors right now is because I want to actually set up like a custom error system, and I want to take my time for that. Like actually think of it correctly and then I don't want to add like multiple types of errors happening in here that I have to handle. I want to make sure that this re refactor slash refactor uh, works first. Um, okay, so we have insert here. Um, what are we doing? We're going to do a uh, we have to get it first and we have to get the wrapped one. So let mute wrapped um, component and really this is like the wrapped meshes is equal to self dot components dot get mute. And looking at this, we don't really need to get it mute, do we? Like we can just have this be get uh, pass in the name. Uh, we'll unwrap. 
Um, and then we will borrow mute. That, that gives us you. Then let meshes. So you don't need to be mute here. You need to be mute. Equals wrapped meshes dot borrow mute. Wait, no, we had already borrowed mute. Ah, stop. Don't pull this in. We had already borrowed mute. Uh, we need to cast mute. With that, it's the unknown right now, and then we're going to push it in. So we're going to say meshes push data. And then you figure out what it's supposed to be because the data type. Um, all right, so we need to implement now a mesh for cast mute on the components. Yep. We have no mesh in here. All right, so for our cast, if let components mesh mesh self turn the mesh. Forgot the bang. Almost got in one go. Um, why are you of color? Because I put color there. Why would I put a color there? Thank you, typing system. That would have been a really weird bug. All right, so back to you. Okay, we've cast mute. Wait, is this the one? No. Um, it's this one. Okay, so we, we made you happy. Then we can come back into here, and we made you happy. Okay, excellent. Oh, missing mass arm. We need to fix you. Mismatch types uh, with component. Right, we haven't finished um, returning yet. After we do that, we return self. Oh, okay, you do need to be mutable. I guess because I borrow meat here as opposed to down here, okay. Uh, you don't need to be mute. I put the mute on the wrong spot. Okay, unused variable name. Okay, so in get resource, uh, this is get resource for the mesh. Let's let's do it. Um, it's gonna be a self dot uh, resources dot get mute. 
at name dot into and that's it except there is no get for okay so this doesn't exist for um for mesh so we need to fix that so we have that but uh resource data Yeah, we see we have point and color. Yeah, having this be a, a macro would be so much nicer. Um, it is something I wanna wanna learn, and I'll, like I'll be able to remove so much code when I do that. Um, okay, so for resource data. If let um So resource data, so we need to grab it out and then cast it. So it's not going to be the iplet. So we're going to do a um, self dot resources dot. Uh, one is going to be, let's just do them separately. So you're going to be a get the name, unwrap you, and then cast you to you. And that, that's it. Okay, for you, you're gonna be a get mute, name, wrap, cast mute. And that's it. Back to here, okay, so. Oh, why am I get resources? You're not get mute. You just get. Okay. Where was I? Entity data. No. Okay, hold on. Let's close that. These are all done. Good here. In update locations, what are you upset about now? The treat bound string convert. Oh, uh, yes, you need to be. I'm I'm kind of surprised we we got this far. I guess um, the other errors were coming first, as it were. So we need to tell you locations. We're only going through this once. Let's say that you're a mutable reference to a vec a point a query one to here we're going to borrow mute and then immediately cast mute. pull you in okay velocities um you need borrowed mute too so One, move you, and yeah. Okay, you're happy. Accelerations. Okay, apparently, don't need you. Okay, accelerations, we need to borrow this as mute too. Okay, then we loop through all the locations. Uh, we no longer need to do this like cast point. None of that needs to happen. We're just good to go. Uh, this 
Like, why? We don't need that anymore. We just have a location and we're good to go. Um, okay, so can I, can I just do that? I can, okay. Uh, location dot add velocity. You need to be be referenced. No, you don't. What's the problem? Expected a reference to a point found a struct. Oh, you need to be referenced. Um, you need to be a uh, velocity. Okay, you need to be mutable. I also don't want to own you. So in a way, I want you to be like, to grab you out like this. Um, right, okay, so now I want to dereference you and to dereference you. Um, hello, Arctic Space Fox. It's early for me. It's uh, 7.52 in the morning over here. Oh, this is fun. Okay, what did I do? Variable does not need to be mutable here. Okay. Um, world. Temporary value dropped. Oh, because, okay. We can't borrow mute and then cast at this point in time. So we need to do a... Wrapped locations here. Um, this doesn't happen at this point. Close you out and do let locations is equal to wrapped locations dot cast mute. Um, we also need to know exactly what that is. Now, something that I can do is for these locations, makes it really simple. I can put the type in here. So you're a use size and you're a reference to a point. That should. Oh, I was hoping that would fix it. Um... Oh, mutable. There it goes. Figure that out. Uh, applications. You need to be mutable. Um, you need to, we need to do the same thing here. How do I do that? Um, I mean, at the meetup was done. I didn't spend too much more time up. I just sort of go to bed almost immediately. It was done around eight o'clock my time. Okay, so we have wrap velocities. Uh, we don't need this type here. Close world, semicolon here, then Velocities equals velocities dot cast mute. Um, and it figures out what the point is. Okay, perfect. Um, acceleration, I'm kind of surprised it's not yelling at me. Uh, velocity dot normalize. Uh, type annotations needed for vec t. Oh, velocity. You know what that is. I see velocity knows that it's immutable reference to a point. Consider giving velocity as the explicit type. Like here. Um. Velocity is a, wait, what are, what are you saying? A vec T. Um, 
Because you should be a velocities of index. Just mute point. So you should be just a point. Like that. Oh, not allowed here. Okay. So not here. Um. Okay, consider giving me velocities. Uh, just tell me on line 11. So it wants me to give it up here. Fine. Um, okay, so you're a... You're going to be a mutable reference to a vec of point. Like that. All right, that, that unlocked everything else. So we need to do the same thing up here. So we're going to have wrapped accelerations. Uh... I have you query borrow that accelerations with this type being a mutable reference to a vec point equal to wrapped accelerations dot cast mute. All right, it's not even mutable. All right, this this file is done. We're down to 15. Okay, cannot borrow self dot world as mutable because it's also borrowed as immutable. Okay, so this is this is gonna be fun. Um, update void color system. Um. Is it borrowed like because it's done, right? Oh, because I mean that loop, I think. Hmm. Yeah, so this is. This is uh, this loop is limiting us but if we're trying to borrow that that out oh that's gonna be a problem so on line 107 immutable borrow happens stuff that world that get resource now what if i copy you So clone you. Type annotations needed. Hey, I okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Hold on. Stop. Uh wait, what did I do? Right, you're upset about that type. Your your reference to U32, sure. Uh, update, update FPS. Um, I was hoping to like copy clone you. What if I shadow this? Update FPS is equal to update FPS dot clone. Can you become that. then we're happy again because I no longer have just like a reference to something inside of there. I'm just cloning this out and that, that should be fine. Um, all right, we have warnings up here, so we're not using resource. Window mode. Drawable size and wrecked. Um, in this context, for the resize event isn't being used. Okay. All right. So temporary value drops. Right. We have to do the wrapped. So. So wrapped accelerations. We don't do this at this point. World 
one. We give it this typing equal wrap accelerations dot cast mute. Okay, no problems in here. Uh, same, same, same issue in here. Okay. Just all the places. Okay, so acceleration plus equals force. Um, acceleration needs to be mutable. Acceleration equals. Okay, so I want you to be a mutable reference. For that. Okay, so then I think it's dereference you. Then we're then we're fine. All right. Um, I guess I need to do this entire casting thing here, too. Hmm. All right, so let's do it. Just for these two. So we're going to do wrapped. Um... Nope, nope, wrong one. Um, I don't think I can do it quite that easily. I'm just gonna copy you, I'll just delete you and rewrite you. Ah, uh, no, hold on. Okay, delete you by word. Uh, not. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, equals world query one borrow and that then paste you you're gonna be a these are just borrowed so a vec point equals wrapped that all right there you go multi-line for the win uh, rotation needs to be dereferenced. Wait, does it? No. Uh, oh, it needs to be mutable, probably. Expected in F32 found... Wait, 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 wait. Rotation. Wrapped rotations is... Oh. Right, you're right, you're right. Okay. F32. Uh, all those attempts to me for me to do this and it didn't work because of fun. Because of fun. Okay, so um, I need to undo all of these where it's like, okay, we have the wrap locations. I was trying to do, I was trying to be too clever with it. And we see how what that got me. Right, equals. Um, velocity is the same.
Um, accelerations is mutable, so you're gonna be wrapped accelerations. You out. Okay, happy here. Um, all right, so we're in cannot borrow world as mutable because it's also borrowed as immutable. So here we're borrowing world as mutable. Okay, so immutable borrow occurs in line 10. Here at get resource. Um, so we have this world color. Uh, Change rate is this F32. Let's go ahead and um, cast that again. Rate is equal to color change rate. That clone. It's not the best way to deal with it, but it, it works. Okay, um, same exact problem here. All that work, I did that to change it over and it turns out that was the, t the worst idea. The worst, I am the worst. Velocities. Um, maybe that, ah, stop. It's equal to wrap velocities. Okay, cast it, there we go, there we go. Two. We only have two now. Excellent. Okay, so temporary value well dropped. Um, same, same exact problem. Unused variable name, uh, because we're not doing it. Um, so what is this? This is a world methods. Okay, so get get resource mute. Um, so we're gonna do self dot resources dot get mute name dot into. And pass that on through. Okay. Let's do this one next. Um, with components, so I don't, I don't need you up oh, right now. Um, a core property of a programmer is exploring paths which turn out not to lead anywhere. Uh, yeah, that, that actually feel that, that sounds like, um, we can refactor that statement down to just research. I'm, I'm not just going down empty paths. I'm researching. It sounds so much better. Um, all right, let's see. With component, name and data. Um, so with component is an insert uh, for the U32. I don't know if we've added U32. We're gonna find out. So we're gonna do self dot entity data dot insert uh, name dot into and then the data. Uh, and then we return self. Right, and there's no type for U32. Research, learning while failing. Um, yes, absolutely, okay. So you're yelling at me that we don't have an insert for this uh, with, uh, entity data needs to have an insert. So let's go into entity data and insert for a U32, which we do not 
clearly do not have. Um, okay, so we're going to do a... We have to extract this out. So let... Um, this has to be mute. Wrapped. Uh, U32s. Equals self.components.getMute. Pass it the name. Unwrap. And then... Borrow mute at U32s, uh, which is going to be a type of it's um, mutable reference to a vec of U32. Well, to wrapped U32s. Dot. Uh, so once we've got that. Then we want to get, let's see, we've borrowed the mute. We have that. This just cast mute. Then, what? oh, you know what? I don't think I need this. Uh, it's an unknown until I try to push this in. So now we have um, U32s that push data. Um, but of course, uh, our components, the cast components U32 isn't implemented. So we need to fix that. So this is in mod for components. Yeah. Cast components U32 for components. Um, okay, so if let components, do we not have U32s in here? We don't. Okay, hold on. So we're going to start here. Up to here. All right, so, okay, so you 32s, um, and uh, the number, equals self, turn the number, panic, um, pass to a U32. Okay, so got this out. Uh, we had done this from entity data, so that pushed in. That was that's happy there. Mod with component for U32. Okay, so that that's then happy there, and so then we're gonna just continue on for the rest of it. Um, but I am going to have to do that next time because it is after 815 and um, I want to give myself time to sort of get ready for work and do all that stuff. I've been um, I've been trying to do like meditation and other things beforehand. So uh, giving myself that kind of time is is actually really nice. Um, it's it's a lot. It's a lot better to sort of like not rush into into the day. Um, as I've been doing what I allow myself to stream right up until the meeting start, which is eh, not, not the best. So 